Hey you guys, I hope you're doing good today. So for all your tea sipping needs, make sure you guys go to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. Welcome to Lovely News Network and I have a really disturbing story that's coming from atrocious ass Arizona, okay? So what's going on in Arizona is that we have a school crossing guard who worked with children, okay, as his main job, but his side gig was pretending to have Down syndrome and then hiring caregivers to come and take care of him on the weekends and change his diapers while he got aroused. This entire situation is disgusting. He paid several women to come over. Supposedly when he made these calls, he would act like he was the father or, you know, the brother of the said, you know, Down syndrome person. And then the nurses would come and bathe them and, you know, try and help them out only to find out that this man did not have Down syndrome. And one of the nurses, um, she ended up coming back to the house because after she gave him a bath, she felt something wasn't right. And she went back to the house and his parents came to the door and they said their son did not have Down syndrome. So at that point, she contacted the authorities and that's how his whole scheme was basically unraveled. This man is sick as hell and he's obviously a few eggs short of a dozen. Y'all go ahead and watch this news clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Syndrome and hired caregivers to bathe him and change his diapers. Which He's Paul Menchaca of Gilbert, Arizona. The accusers say he talked and acted like a child, but when it came time to be changed or washed, he would become sexually aroused. He would just be clapping, he would be smiling, he would be talking to us when we were changing his diaper. Another caregiver says the Menchaca she met pretended to have a traumatic brain injury. He did ask me a few times to come over and help him shower, but I wasn't incredibly comfortable with that. One of the three caregivers became suspicious and followed Menchaca to his real home where they confronted his parents and learned their son did not have Down syndrome or need diapers at all. And instead, that Menchaca had a weird fetish. I'm glad I never showered him and he's gonna get what you know he deserves for fooling everybody like this. The victims say they confronted Menchaca who admitted he lied to them He's now charged with fraudulent schemes and sex abuse. But we start with an ABC 15 exclusive. The story already disturbing enough, but when you learn what one guy did for a living, it will have you shaking your head in disgust. A valley man accused of faking an illness and hiring caregivers to bathe him and change his diapers. Turns out the guy was also a school crossing guard at the time. ABC 15, Sonu Wasu joining us live. And Sonu, you're hearing exclusively from the innocent victims in all of this. That's right, these victims are disgusted, they are shocked, and they want to know why someone would go to such extremes to fool caregivers. Now, we are live outside Bogle Junior High School here in Chandler, where the suspect worked as a crossing guard. And school officials tell me there were no red flags, he passed all of the background checks, and no problems at all while he worked here. What's your full name and date of birth? My name's Paul Anthony Menchaca. Paul Anthony Menchaca appears soft-spoken in front of a judge, but the man caregivers who worked with him saw was very different. He acts like a child. His whole demeanor was childlike-minded, so he would have tantrums, he would talk like a child, he would act like a child. This caregiver met Menchaca through an app called CareLinks. She was hired to keep him company during the day, change his diapers, bathe him, because he had Down syndrome. The victim says she noticed he was aroused and acted strangely while changing his diaper. He would just be clapping, he would be smiling, he would be talking to us when we were changing his diaper. Another caregiver says the Menchaca she met pretended to have a traumatic brain injury. He did ask me a few times to come over and help him shower, but I wasn't incredibly comfortable with that. Now police say it was all an act. It was kind of like a fetish for him, I guess you can say. The experience has traumatized the victims who showed up to care for Menchaca, all women who genuinely are in this to help vulnerable adults. I'm glad I never showered him, and he's going to get what you know he deserves for fooling everybody like this. Also fooled school administrators who trusted him in and out of the classroom here in Chandler. We're told Menchaca has resigned from his position as a crossing guard. In Chandler, Sonu Basu, ABC 15, Arizona. The victims also warning other caregivers to be careful about who they sign up to care for, especially clients found through apps. Many of them won't conduct background checks, so it's really up to you to protect yourself. 
All right, so you guys just watch those news clips. Like I said, we have some sick people in this world and the fact that he worked with children. And it's crazy because even in the comments section of some of these videos, you have a lot of kids like, hey, that was my crossing guard. Or I remember him from school. He was such a weirdo. So it's sad that this man was working with children during the week. They said he didn't have a criminal record. You know, the school did the background check, but you never know what folks are involved in on the weekend. You know, and this is that whole, it goes back to that whole anything goes society. You know, I feel that like I'm a baby and I can walk around and fucking diapers and shit on myself <laughs> and you just have to accept that shit okay because now it's a fetish this was a fetish for him and he's trying to get these you know grown women who were caregivers who were none the wiser to come and do this and as soon as they did he would get aroused and you know this is just really really sickening and it's really sad that folks take it to this extent there are entire fetish communities of people who get down like this who walk around in diapers and who act like babies and they act like animals and all types of shit he could have very well joined this community lived his little happy life on the weekends you know what i'm saying shitting on himself <laughs> and you know changing other people's diapers and all that dumb shit but instead he wants to take it one step further and and drag innocent people into his fuck shit you know so this entire situation's a hot damn mess i'm glad that he was caught and arrested and thrown in damn jail okay so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire atrocious ass situation once again coming from atrocious arizona all right deuces <laughs> Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.